Welcome back to another movie review, or shall I say, double movie review, as it's been on my media here. And this is not just your simple movie review, it's going to be double movie review. The first review is going to be on Disney League of Super Pets, and the second review is going to be on Bullet Train. First off, let's start off with Disney League of Super Pets, shall we? So, Disney League of Super Pets tells the story of Crypto the Super Dog, how he was sent to Earth as, as a kid, along with Superman. Make some new friends, he makes some new friends along the way when Justice League are captured. So it's up to Crypto to save Justice League, save the world, and basically what the plot of the film is. So, what do I think of this movie? Oh my god, say, when I first heard about it, I wasn't too sure about it because because of, because, of the, because of the character designs, but after seeing the film, it was better than I thought it was. I mean, I mean. The animation, the animation is pretty stunning, because because when it comes to Warner Animation Group, most of their movies can be pretty enjoyable, but sometimes not really. But I still had fun experience, and the humor is pretty good. But I will admit, I I do really like the voice acting. The voice acting is really cool, like Kevin Hart, Dwayne Johnson, etc. Yeah, it's not as good as the Batman, but I will admit, it was still a fun experience. So overall, DC League of Super Pets gets an 8 out of 10 for good. Now it's time to review Bullet Train. So Bullet Train tells the story of a man, of an assassin on a train who wants to kill, wants to kill people on a train. And, but then they realize this, this train ain't your typical ride. So it's up to, it's up to the man to get off the train. And I think what the plot of the film is. So what do I think of this movie? What well, I have to say. I saw this movie in the theaters last night. And prove me wrong. This this was an awesome ride. This was this was an awesome movie. I don't care what Ron Smeo says. But this movie is awesome. The action sequences felt so real. They were, they were like really cool. The, the voice acting is great. It's also my first time seeing Joey King on the big screen. Yeah. And also, this movie's and fun fact: this movie's directed by David Lage, who the same director was who, who the same guy the same guy who directed Deadpool 2. Yeah, and yes, this is also my first Sony Picture movie I see. This it's my first Sony movie I see in theaters since I haven't seen a Sony movie in theaters for a while. The last Sony movie I saw in theaters was Spider-Man: No Way Home back in back in December 2021. Yeah. Do I have any flaws for this movie? No. I had a really, I had a really fun time seeing this movie, despite the, despite, despite no flaws. Yeah. So overall, Bullet Train get a nine out of ten for awesome. Thank you for watching my double movie review on DC Dixie Pets and Bullet Train, and I will see you in the next video.